journalism is about deception. It depends upon the meaning of the word is. Using the harsh light of Aristotle's law of identity, this glossary seeks to pierce through the blue smoke and mirrors of liberalism, thereby exposing its true nature. I took the initiative in creating the internet. Transparency. The Democratic Party policy of revealing legislative detail. And those of us who manage the public's dollars will be held to account to spend wisely reform bad habits, and do our business in the light of day, because only then can we restore the vital trust between a people and their government. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. Elected officials, politicians charged with protecting America's interest. Mr. Chairman, we do not have a crisis at Freddie Mac, and in particular at Fannie Mae. But I have seen nothing in here that suggests that the safety and soundness of an issue, and I think it serves us badly to raise safety and soundness as a kind of a general shibboleth when it does not seem to me to be an issue. Regulators, officials who use political influence to skew market forces. But you have to begin with why we got there. And the answer is, as I believe, you know, you, you alluded to it, and I'll say this is what I believe, it is a lack of appropriate regulation. The banks did not choose to lower their lending standards. The government leaned on them. The Justice Department under Clinton threatened, threatened them with prosecution. Uh, if their lending patterns didn't suit the government. So the, the, we had regulations. It was precisely the regulators uh, who pushed the, uh, the lower lending standards, just as Barney Frank is doing now. We have now in, in Barack Obama, a president who understands this. Next time when it happens, we have the mechanisms in place. We have the authority to seize these institutions. Bureaucracy, a government obstacle course of red tape. Millions of public servants who do the day-to-day -day work have a huge impact on America's prosperity and freedom. These are all rules. We just have to obey. Every single day, these individuals touch each and every person in this country. Cap and trade, lowering the standard of living with increased energy costs. Under my plan uh, of a cap and trade system, electricity rates would necessarily skyrocket. Whatever the plants were, whatever the industry was, they would have to uh, retrofit their operations. That will cost money. They will pass that money on to consumers. Special interests. Free enterprise that resists government control. What I believe is that there are very well financed insurance companies, drug companies, oil companies. Uh, some people argue that we're going to sit at a table with these people and they're going to voluntarily give their power away. I think it is a complete fantasy. Corporate reform government takeover. This liberal will be all about socializing, uh, um, would be about basically taking over and the government running all of your companies. We have to make some strategic decisions about strategic industries. Obamacare, the first step in a march towards socialized medicine. Universal health care plan. That's what I'd like to see. But as all of you know, we may not get there immediately. You would think they would be saying thank you. Public servants, those charged to carry out the dictates of Barack Obama. The people who will be hired now and in the future will be hired efficiently and will dedicate their time and energy to the programs the Obama administration deems important. You see them sometimes walking around blindly with dead eyes, following orders, not knowing what they do, not caring. You mean like Democrats? Globalism. The willingness to swap American sovereignty for European popularity. Europe's leading role in the world. Instead of celebrating your dynamic union and seeking to partner with you to meet common challenges, there have been times where America has shown arrogance. Social justice. Sympathy and guilt as a substitute for traditional justice. Social justice is an attempt to be sensitive to needs of others to show solidarity and sympathy. Compassion, the requiring of crushing debt on future generations. We are on an unsustainable course right now because we have made more promises under three main programs, Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security, principally the medical programs, than can be fulfilled at uh, any sensible set of tax rates. Eventually, 
there is no money available in the budget to pay for anything else because of the spending on entitlements, especially Medicare and Medicaid. Compassion, a dependence subsidy. For the people who administer it, it instills in them a feeling of almost godlike power. For the people who are supposedly benefiting, it instills a feeling of childlike dependence. Unemployment benefits, a primary job creation plan of the Democratic Party. Now let me say about unemployment insurance, we talk about it as a safety net and the rest. This is one of the biggest sti uh, stimuluses to our economy. The economist will tell you this money is spent quickly, it's, it uh, injects demand into the economy and is job creating. It creates jobs faster than almost any other initiative you can name. Migrant worker. Illegal alien drawn to America by work, welfare, or gang activity. One reason some California prisons house nearly twice as many inmates as they were designed to hold, they're overloaded with illegal aliens. They work hard. They save. They stay out of trouble. But because they live in the shadows, they're vulnerable to unscrupulous businesses who pay them less than the minimum wage. Border control an activity that only occurs when states like Arizona decide to take matters into their own hands. Racist. Any inhabitant of America. In a real sense, no one is innocent. But do you we think all are guilty of participating in racist act. Equal opportunity. Preferential treatment. You said that a wise Latina woman would reach a better conclusion than a male counterpart. You could talk about that being a liberal instinct in the sense that I promote equal opportunity in America and the attempts to ensure that. Judicial activist, an unelected legislator empowered to redefine words. You have words of the Constitution, like the 14th Amendment word liberty, or the First Amendment's word the freedom of speech, which don't explain themselves. Living Constitution, the primary tool of judicial activists. The living Constitution, which means it doesn't mean what the, what the people agreed, uh, agreed to when they adopted it, uh, is a very seductive, a very seductive uh, theory. It's seductive for judges because it empowers them. Patriot, one willing to let politicians spend their money. Time to be patriotic, Kate. Time to jump in, time to be part of the deal, time to help get America out of the rut. Higher taxes on your electric bills. Lots more taxes. Lots more patriots. Taxes. Gifts from patriots. Our, our system of government is a voluntary tax system. Pork. The traditional means by which politicians deliver campaign promises. And let me say this to all of the chattering class that so much focuses on those little, tiny, yes, porky amendments. The American people really don't care. Political privilege. Exemptions from the rules they make for others. You know, I was wondering, with uh, Americans just str struggling to pay their bills, losing their jobs, why the hell do you drive a taxpayer subsidized Cadillac, use four rent control apartments for low market rate, and fail to pay taxes on rental properties? Why when you write the tax code. Why don't you mind your goddamn business? No, I'm serious. Contrition. A last resort political calculation to deploy when cornered. Well, I now know. Well, I now know is that. Uh, although I had not personally received proceeds in the cash, the fact that any reduction to the mortgage actually counted as income and should have been reported as such. Gaff, an inconvenient truth. I'm pretty good with words, but I'm not so good with things. I have had a <laughs> lifelong struggle with things, and the less I am the one responsible for dealing with them, the better off everybody is. <laughs>